Good morning, second graders. Today is Wednesday, May 6th, and it is Nurse Appreciation Day. And I know a lot of you probably know a nurse somewhere in your life. Maybe it's your parent, or a different family member, or maybe a family friend, or uh, maybe one of your friend's parents. It could be anyone. Anyone you know that could be a nurse. So today we're going to show our nurses our appreciation, right? And at our school, we have our lovely, lovely, lovely Nurse Kelly. And I thought it would be fun if we all wrote her some thank you notes, even though we're not at school right now, just to show her that we're thinking of her and that we appreciate all that she does for us. So I'm going to make my font a little bit bigger so you can see it. And when we're writing a thank you note, um, raise your hand. I know I can't see you, but raise your hand if you've ever had to write a thank you note, maybe after your birthday party for your, all the presents you've gotten or um, any other time you may have had to write a thank you note. Right, so when we write a thank you note, we have to start with who we're writing it to. It's kind of like a letter, right? So we say, Dear Nurse Kelly. And it went over the line a little bit, but that's okay. Um, and then I'm going to start my thank you. So I'm going to move it so it fits in the lines. And I'm going to say, Thank you so much for... And I'm going to start the next line. Um, for what? What should we thank her for? Um, maybe we thank her for... Being the best school nurse. Um, what else can we say? What are some really nice things we could say about Nurse Kelly? We know she's so kind to us all the time. And when we're sick, or maybe when we're just having a bad day, or we fall and get hurt on the playground. Um, you always take the best care of us. And maybe since we're not at school, we can say, oops, let's keep typing. Um, I miss you so much. Duh. And then, um, that's a, just a small, tiny little thank you note. And then the, at the end, just like a letter, we have to close it out. So we can say things like, um, you are a friend, or sincerely, or... Um, best wishes, something like that. So I think I'm going to sign off your friend, Miss W, because Willingham's too long to write. Um, so your friend, Miss W. So we have our heading, and we thanked her specifically for what we what we wanted to thank her for. We weren't just saying thank you, because who cares? Thank you for what, right? Um, and then we added some cute little um, additions just to tell her that we're thinking of her and that we miss her and that she's always the best nurse that we could have asked for here at North Star, right? So, um, for your assignment in Seesaw, you are going to write your own thank you note to Nurse Kelly on Seesaw. Um, I, or your other, whoever your second grade teacher is, will send them to her so we can show her how much we appreciate her and everything she does as our school nurse. Um, even though we're not at school, we got to show her that we're thinking of her, right? We miss her, and we can't wait to be back at school with her next year so she can take even better care of us again. And an added bonus for you, if you're up for the challenge, um, if you know someone else in your life that's a nurse, if you're a parent or your friend's parent or your grandpa or your grandma or your aunts and uncles or cousins, maybe you have an older sister or brother um, that's a nurse, you can write them a thank you note too. Um, just to show them that you're thinking of them because we're so lucky to have these nurses that are out there taking care of us Especially during the pandemic, right? They're keeping us safe and they're risking their lives just to go out there and um, Make sure that we're healthy and that the people in the hospitals are healthy. So we got to thank them So I can't wait to see your messages and send them to, to nurse Kelly and happy writing